Welcome back to Teach Me ABA. I'm the new sedition. My name is Trey and I'm a behavior analyst. Today we're going to be discussing positive and negative reinforcement contingencies. We'll be going over definitions and examples for each of them. As a reminder, we recommend watching these videos in order to gain knowledge from the fundamentals and move forward in the series with ease. Every definition comes straight from the third edition of Applied Behavior Analysis, or the Cooper book, so make sure to have it during your study sessions. Let's discuss positive reinforcement, which is a response followed immediately by the presentation of a stimulus. In other words, something is added to the environment that results in a similar response occurring more often. For example, a child's independent toy play increases as a result of parents getting praise and attention for the appropriate independent play. The presentation of praise and attention will increase the likelihood of independent play in the future. Another common example, when a person goes to work each day and receives their paycheck twice a month, the paycheck increases the likelihood that that person will continue to go to work in the future. Next, let's discuss negative reinforcement. Negative reinforcement happens when a behavior occurs more often because of past responses that resulted in a withdrawal or termination of a stimulus. In other words, something is removed from the environment. For an example, being sent to the principal's office for acting out may function as negative reinforcement if it enables the misbehaving student to avoid an aversive to him, such as a classroom activity. The removal of the classroom activity will increase the likelihood that that student will act out in the future. Another common example, the garbage is producing an uncomfortable smell in the kitchen, so you remove it from the environment. As a result, the kitchen no longer has an odorous smell. You are more likely to take out the garbage in the future. All right, everyone, that's it. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, how does Brittany and Megan end this? Oh, I can totally help you. Would you like some help? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So everything covered today was part of task list B-4. So everything covered today was from task list B-4. Please let us know if you have any questions right down below. Please let us know if you have any questions right down below in the comment section. And as always, please like, subscribe, and share. And as always, please like, comment, and share.